Jeff Ballard here. I just wanted to show you the tyre repair kit that we sell and it's a pretty common fault or problem that trail riders have now. I mean the bikes are so reliable that the most common thing you're gonna, is going to go wrong is you're going to get a flat tyre. Anyone who's using tubes, it's, it's definitely what goes wrong. So this kit uh, comes with uh, two 16 gram bottles which is your main way of inflating, so it's a really fast way of inflating. You can obviously carry more. The, the bag is big enough to be able to carry quite a bit more stuff than what it comes with. Uh, it, has, it has the inflator, which obviously this is how it works. It's, it screws on, the, the CO2 screws onto the adapters. We'll show that in another little demo later, but uh, it comes with the patches and they're all different sizes depending on you know, the size of the hole, often a snake bite or whatever from a pinch. Um, you know, a nail is a smaller one, that sort of thing. So, so that's the kit in itself. The way it works is you've got this product here, which is something that is used just to roughen up the tube a bit. So you try and select, you know, you find the hole, that's the first thing. You usually got to pull the tube out to find it. I mean, if it's a nail and you find it early, it's, it's obvious, but otherwise you've got to look for it. So pull the tube out. That's if you're repairing the tube, but some people carry a spare tube, so that's a, it's a good um, secondary thing, you know, because you can completely wreck a tube, so it's always good to carry a lightweight tube. And if you carry a 21 inch, you can get away with it in the front or the back, so it's it's not as heavy to carry, and you can get home on a on a, a 21 in a in a 19 or an 18 rear, pretty common dirt bike size. So anyway, back to this, you 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 uh, roughen it up around about the size of the patch that you're going to use then you use this uh, this glue you, you spread it out over that same area that you've, that you've uh, chosen through the patch size um, you then have to wait a little while it's not it's not very long but you have to wait until it's kind of touch dry just use the back of your finger uh, once it's touch dry then you the, you grab your you know your selected uh, patch and you just peel the the silver paper off the back and uh, that side is the side that you push on, so you select the center area again, come away from that, you push it on, bit of pressure. While you're doing that, it's, it's drying, you get everything else ready. Uh, then you feed the, the tube back into the tire, you know, so that's, that's the general senses of it. Okay, so now we've got the demo of actually using the CO2s in the tire repair kit and, and how we do it. We'd, we'd pull, if we're using a spare 21 inch lightweight tube or we've just patched and repaired it um, the general the general thing is that you will have the valve removed and you'll if, if it's if it's round uh, wound up and compressed into your uh, bum bag or something so you put some air into it because it lessens the chance that you're going to pinch the tube when you're installing it so you just take the valve out you blow in into it and you get it into its neutral state then one of the best rules is you just push it on either side only in one area and then you then you just keep it in that area that's around about how much pressure you want to put in then you put the valve uh, back in and um, and then as soon as we get this in we will then show you the inflator okay so then this one's wound on the most important thing is that the tap is off so that's the top bit so you turn that off you pierce the 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 bottle the CO2 then you I mean we're simulating it's just to show you it fitting onto a tube here but um, in a general sense obviously it's it's in it's installed into the, the uh, tire and you just got where the valve's coming out so you just you just tighten that up and then you release the yeah okay so that's how they work. Obviously, the pressure here is is not going to be great because it's there's there's no tire to create the pressure. But we have done a little bit of testing, and most of these 16 gram bottles will put around about um, about nine to even 16. They seem to vary. It's quite strange, but it's just the way it works. So you can limp out of the bush with pretty low pressure. Obviously, you've got to be a lot more careful with. Uh, with uh, you know getting punches and stuff things like that but the the tire repair kit also you can actually uh, pierce the bottle and have it ready and as long as that taps off it won't leak 
So if you go into a really muddy event or you know, you're struggling to get up hills, if you let the back tire down to quite low pressure, I mean like six or seven, that will make the world of difference in getting up hills and all that sort of stuff. So by having something that's a quick inflator like this, you can get through the really tough uphills or something and then for a bit more security so you don't get a flat, you can just you can just you can use another part of a bottle or whatever and just increase the pressure. So it's it's not a bad thing to carry if you if you don't have moose tubes and all the other things that are helping you prevent flats. So it's definitely uh, something that you need if you're uh, going trail riding and you just have tubes. So have a look into it.